everybody, it's Emily at ARG Schooling, and today I'm going to be talking about our current morning basket. My 11 year old and I are still plugging away at school and I haven't talked much about what we're doing but I thought now would be a good time. It's been requested to do like a, a day in the life homeschool video and I can't. Like it's not physically possible because my kids don't like to be on camera. Um, my twins refuse and Regina is only happy on camera when she's photobombing. She doesn't want to like actually be on camera. She wants to like mess up other people's videos. So I semi attempted to do a homeschooling day in the life and it just, it's not gonna happen. So I thought instead of that, we'll just talk about what we're reading. So our current read aloud is The Story That Cannot Be Told by J. Casper Kramer. This is a story that takes place in Romania in the 1980s during the communist revolution and um, I'm not really, I don't know enough about that time period so I'm, I'm gonna have to do some more research as we read this so we can discuss because this isn't a place or a time that I've ever read about and I was excited to find that in a middle grade novel. We picked this because we're currently doing a project that I'm sure is going to take us years to finish, but she wants to read a book from every country. And so maybe I'll add some footage here and I'll show you guys the map because it's put away right now, but we have a giant map that we made on one of those trifold boards and she colors in a country when we read about it and then makes a like little index card picture of the book cover that we so it will eventually have like this huge poster with all the countries that we've read colored in along with like this just rainbow of book covers that she's made after finishing the book i don't know how long she'll be interested in doing that but for now we're rolling with it it's kind of a dark story darker than i expected but she's enjoying it and i like that it's like stories within stories there's a lot of like folklore and stories that she's making up about things and it's just a really interesting book about a girl who's a storyteller and gets sent to live in the countryside when her parents are in trouble. That is our read aloud. In history, we're sort of bouncing back and forth right now. We've been doing History Quest from Pendaya Press and we're not that far in. We're only like nine chapters in, but we're going slowly through this and we're both enjoying it immensely. Um, I really like the way it's written and my only my only issue is that I wish that the chapters, they're kind of long, were like segmented in a way that would like, oh, here's a natural break where we can stop instead of me just going, oh, maybe this is a good stopping place, I think, trying to read ahead a little bit as we're going through. But the chapters are a little bit long, so it can be challenging to get through a whole chapter in a sitting. We don't usually. But other than that, I think this is really well done, really interesting, really well written history for children and so we're going through that we just finished reading about babylon i think we're going on to assyria tomorrow we're also reading through absolutely everything history of earth dinosaurs rulers robots and other things too numerous to mention by christopher lloyd i forgot i had this when i was working on cleaning up bookshelves i pulled this down and i'm like hey I bought this and then immediately put it away and I forgot all about it. So this is, I don't, this is a all history from like the Big Bang through modern day. So it's very um, brief snippets because obviously that's a lot to cram into a book and this is only not even 400 pages. So, but the illustrations are wonderful. Let me see if I can find a picture for you. So I like that it's a mix of like photography and illustration. I really like the writing. I like that it covers so much. So right now we're reading the prehistory stuff. So I'm kind of, it's more science at this point than history, but it doesn't, we're not gonna like line up or maybe we will eventually, I don't know. But right now we're not lining up with where we are in history quest. So we're sort of all over the place, but we're still in the prehistory section. And we're reading about, what are we reading about right now? We've been reading about fungi, mushrooms, and the first like plants on earth and animals and, and that sort of thing. I, I don't know that I would recommend this as like your spine for history because I think you would end up having to like 
go through it so slowly and add so much stuff to flush it out if you wanted a deeper history curriculum. But if you're looking for a crash course, I think this is really great. Our science right now is, again, the human body. I think this is their second time through this book. Or is it our third time? I'm not sure. This is her favorite book, or one of her favorite books. And so we've been going through Human Body Theater by Maris Wicks. And we got this signed. We met her at Boston Book Festival, I think, two years ago. And we got it signed by her. It was one of Regina's highlights of her entire life. <laughs> so it was cute. She asked her, what's your favorite part of your body? And Regina said heart. So that's why she drew her a heart. But anyway, we're reading through this again. And right now we're about halfway through and just really enjoying our tour through the human body. This is really fun and very, very informative. There's a lot of information packed into this graphic novel. This is just a really well done book. I love the format, the way it's um, all the different like body parts are like kind of cute and telling you what they do. I don't know. I just think it's really cute and really fun. So we're again going through this. We're kind of doing comfort schooling, I think, right now, so that seemed like the best way to go. I took the disc out because we're using it, but we're also going through the story of the orchestra by Robert Levine, and so this comes with a, a CD that you play as you read, and it, so we only just started this because she has been asking to learn more about music and different instruments, and she's full of questions, so I thought we would start here. So this is basically just a tour through the orchestra and like the different instruments that are played and also about some famous composers and, and specific music pieces. So it's really well done, really well put together. This is a great resource if you just want like an introduction to what what is an orchestra. And then she is currently reading me the littles. This was our compromise book. She's obsessed with graphic novels and has been reading nothing but for a while. And I asked her if she could please take a break and choose a book that's not with pictures or with less pictures. And she wasn't keen on the idea, but I got her to to just pick a book. And so she, she chose The Littles, which I think we've already read, but we're reading it again. And it's about a family of littles, and they're like these tiny little sort of humans, but they have tails, and they live inside the walls of your house and... The family they live with is the Bigs, and it's just cute. And so she's reading me that. So that is basically what we're been, what we've been doing for school. We haven't really like loosened up too much, but we have been gravitating to things that are just more comforting and relaxing and more interest-led, I suppose. So that is what we have going on right now. And I mean. We'll be reading the, this basically through the end of the year. Not much is going to change except for the read aloud, and we are currently about halfway through, so I think we'll probably finish that early in May, and then we'll pick a different book, but everything else is pretty much going to be the same thing. What have you guys got going on in your homeschools lately? Let me know down below in the comments and we can chat. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye!